In this video we're investigating how resource availability affects organisms and populations within ecosystems. First, let's break it down. An ecosystem is like a bustling pizza party, where all the living things and their non-living surroundings come together. Just as we need food, water, and suitable conditions to thrive, organisms in an ecosystem require resources to survive. Now, imagine if there aren't enough pizzas at the party. That's when things get competitive. In an ecosystem, when resources become limited, organisms have to battle it out for what they need. Access to resources determines the growth and population of organisms. It's like saying the number of people who can be fed at our pizza party depends on the number of pizzas available. If resources are scarce, organisms experience slower growth or even a decline in population. But how do we prove this? Through the power of data collection and analysis, we can measure resource availability and keep tabs on how organisms grow and reproduce over time. For instance, Let's observe a rabbit population. We'll record the amount of food and water available and track the number of rabbits at regular intervals. Next comes the exciting part, analyzing the data. If our numbers show that the rabbit population thrives when there's plenty of food and water, but declines when resources are scarce, that supports our understanding that resource availability directly impacts organism populations in an ecosystem. However, we must remember that correlation doesn't always mean causation. We need to rule out other factors that could influence our observations, such as changes in predator populations or weather conditions. By considering and controlling for these variables, we can confidently interpret our data and draw valid conclusions about cause and effect relationships in our ecosystem.